Tell us more about what you saw in Gaza. There's a psychologist. I was working closely there. He told me about a woman he's working with. He got her permission to tell me. I don't know her name. She was abducted by the Israelis and for, I think it was three weeks, she was raped by nine soldiers. Her children were killed and her husband, she knows nothing about where he is. He was injured and she doesn't know if he's alive or dead. What he described is harrowing. Besides the outright rape stories, there's also a lot of other sexual crimes. And I heard this from a few people. When they invade homes or schools or whatever, of course, they strip the men. Usually, there were several cases where they stripped both the men and the women. They made them all stand in the same room, blindfolded, and they would take their blindfolds off. Everybody's immediate reaction is to close their eyes to spare everybody else's dignity. But they made them look and said, if you don't open your eyes and look, we're going to shoot you. And they were shooting people who didn't just look. 